there, and today we're going to be looking at Twitter ads. So I'm going to be showing you how to set up Twitter ads. Um, we have previously done Facebook ads, and now we're moving on to Twitter. And I actually prefer Twitter ads a little bit, just because you get a bit more reach. But we're going to set them up now. So once you've logged onto your Twitter, you want to go to your little um, profile picture, which is on the top right corner. Click on that and then go down to where it says Twitter ads and then this, itchy nose, will take you to your Twitter ads dashboard. So that brings us to this page here and it looks pretty much the same as the Twitter analytics because you can see Twitter analytics up here and it's all sort of controlled in the same area of Twitter and again has my old Twitter handle, don't know why, can't figure it out how to change it, I've changed it on everything I possibly can. And it's still that is so yeah, we're just gonna deal with that later. And we wanna start a new campaign and my objective of this campaign is to get website clicks or conversions. But you can choose if you wanna do a Twitter ad, if you wanna get more followers, if you wanna get more tweet engagements, um, if you have an app that you're trying to sell or push, then you can get more apps installed or engagements. Leads on Twitter, custom, help me choose. And then that'll just sort of give you an idea of what kind of ad is best for you. So I'm just going to stick with website clicks or conversions because all of my social media is there to drive traffic back to my site. So I'm going to click on that and it should take its time. And then this is where we start to create our ad. And actually creating Twitter ads is a lot easier than creating Facebook ads because you don't have to wait for ages for it to be verified. It don't think it has like a limit on the image, how much text you can have on the images, and it's just very, very straightforward, very user friendly. So I am gonna create a Twitter ad for how to measure the success of your social media campaigns. This is my blog post. So I'm gonna do a Twitter ad for this. Click on that, and I'm gonna call it, um, Measuring social media. And that's my campaign name. So whenever I go into my campaign thing where it shows me what campaigns I'm doing, so as soon as you click on Twitter ads, it'll take you to your campaign sort of home screen. And this will just give me an idea about what ad it is. So it's my measuring social media ad. So I'm going to put that there. This is where you can choose how long you want your ad to run for. So I'm going to choose a start and end date so I'm going to say today and then I'm going to go for usually I go for about five five days so I'm going to go one two three four five uh, I'm going to finish it on Sunday because that makes sense and then you move on to creating the actual look of your Twitter ad so this is where you will put all your different components into this is the tweet that you will tweet out as part of your ad. And then you also have your card, which is optional, but I would always recommend doing the card because the card gets a lot more engagement and gets a lot more retweets and just pulls people in better than just a normal tweet because it will include an image, it will include like a little description and a headline and it's just, cards are better as Twitter ads. So here I'm going to put a little tweet about my blog post. So, um, um, yeah, I'm just going to leave that like that. And then the website URL, so the website URL would be um, the URL of the blog post that you are promoting. So I'm gonna put that in there. Uh, I'm gonna leave image for just a second and I'm gonna come back to that. Headline, I'm gonna put um, measuring measuring social media success. And then this is your call to action button. So if you've seen my Facebook ads video, um, you'll know that on Facebook ads you also have to add a call to action button and then this you also have to add a call to action button. So this is basically just asking people to do something in specific. So I want people to go to my site and read my 
blog so I'm gonna put read more I'm gonna keep that as that I created a Twitter ad specific image so if you click on add an image it'll tell you what dimensions the image needs to be so it needs to be 800 by 320 pixels so I have gone into Photoshop and actually created a specific Twitter ad image um, to upload so I'm going to upload that if I can remember where I saved it I think it is in here yes it is Okie doke, so that fits in pretty much perfectly into there and I click save and it should after a while, come on, there we go, yay, so it says it in there, so I've got my little image, I've got my website URL, my headline, my read more and then I'm going to just name the card as well in case I want to use the card but anything else in the future because you can create these cards and then reuse them as much as you like so I'm going to say um, social media success on that one and then once you have filled out all the details and everything seems to be in order if you click preview you can have a little preview of what your card will look like so you'll have your tweet there you'll have your image that you've uploaded your headline and then the um, URL to whatever you're linking to as well um, and then your call to action button so if someone clicks on read more then they should go to the post that you're promoting so you can see the iPhone version so what it will look on an iPhone and what it will look like on Android and then on desktop version as well and then once all that is done you click on tweet promoted only and then that will select that as your ad so you've selected that tweet as your advert um, you can also choose if you've created ads in the past you can also choose from other ads if you've got like some stored away there. So you can either create your brand new one or rerun an old one. So I'm going to do that one. Next section is targeting. So again, very similar to the Facebook one, only this isn't as specific as Facebook. So um, I'm actually going to target the United Kingdom in this one. Um, I'm not going to target any sort of um area of the united kingdom i'm just going to go for all of the uk um, and i'm going to go for any gender i think yeah um, no i'm going to go female only like i always do because so i always think that my content is more tailored towards females so i'm just going to do that and hopefully that will increase my click-through rate so I'm going to keep that. I'm going to select languages as English because I write in English. Um, and I'm not going to select devices platforms because I'm pretty much just going to go with everything that is on there. So that is that one. And then you can also select additional targeting criteria. So if you have any keywords that you want to target, so I actually might target um, digital marketing. And then this, you can choose what kind of match do you want. So do you want it to be a broad match, sort of a general match? Do you want it to be an exact phrase match? So you want your ad to target that exact phrase or do you want it to not target anything to do with it at all? So I am going to go for um, a broad match. Um, yes, that's fine. Uh, I'm not going to go for followers. I'm going to leave interest or can I... Mm. No, I'm going to leave that one for now. Um, I'm also going to remove that one. Uh, add TV targeting, don't need to do that. Add tailor audiences, uh, I don't need to do that. But you can tailor it to um, your own lists and emails and Twitter IDs. If you have, like, say you've got a... Um, list of email addresses from say like MailChimp or um, like a newsletter list from MailChimp you can download all those emails and upload them to Twitter so that everyone on Twitter with that email will get served your ads so it's just a oh there's a fly it's just a more targeted specific way of targeting your ideal audience so 
always good to, to know how to do that if you do have an email list that you want to use or a list of Twitter IDs that you want to target as well. Um, and you can also do it by website visitors. So for example, if I wanted to serve my ad to everybody who has visited my blog, then I could um, put a little bit of code onto my blog um, and then that would be recognized by Twitter and I'd be able to target my ad to anybody that has visited my blog, um, which is actually a lot of the time how advertisers will serve you ads online. So sometimes you'll visit like a bike shop and then all of a sudden you'll get loads of adverts serving to you for like this bike shop that you've been to once and that's because they probably got website visitor um, tracking on the adverts so that's what that bit is so I'm going to remove that one uh, I'm just going to leave all this users timelines yes because I want it to be on the users timelines I want it to be in the search results uh, don't need to do anything with that don't need to limit targeting by excluding behaviors uh, and then next thing is budget. So I am going to stick with the same budget I do for my Facebook. So I'm going to do one pound every day. I'm not actually sure. I can't remember if it's Twitter or Facebook that have a... Oh no, I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking of PPC. Never mind. Yeah, so I'm going to stick with one pound a day. So it should be in total about five to six pound for my entire run of advert. Um, so I'm just going to put in there, I'm going to put six pound as a total budget just in case. Um, and then that's pretty much it. So you've set your budget, you set who you're targeting. So I'm targeting people in the UK um, that have keywords for digital marketing. Um, and yeah, female only, all my creative is done, my start and end dates are done, and that is pretty much it. So it is quite straightforward, it's quite easy to do. You basically just do whatever it says that it tells you to do on the screen. Um, and then you click save campaign. And this is just puts it as like a draft so you can sort of go in and change it if you want to. But I am going to launch my campaign and it should come up. There we go. So there is my campaign. Um, and as it runs, I'll get how much I've spent per day for like how many clicks and stuff people have clicked on it. How many people it's been served to, which is the impressions. Link clicks, so how many people have actually clicked through on the ad to um, my blog how much each click to that link costs me and then my click through rate as well um, and then everything will be pretty much stored in your campaign main campaigns thing so it will have like a little bar chart that'll tell you how everything's going and like if you conversions as if you've got like a shop or anything like that or you set it up to um, be a conversion so I think for this one because I've set it as website clicks anytime that someone clicks on the ad to go through to my blog, it will be classed as a conversion. So that's what that is. Um, conversions are basically whenever your objective is met by that ad. Um, that's basically, I think, what conversions mean on Twitter ads. So that is everything for Twitter ads. I also should probably mention that once you do set up your Twitter ads, you'll have a little banner across the top here that'll tell you to put in your credit card details. Um, that's so that it can charge you for like the spend for your ad. Um, so you have to set that up before you can actually start any ads. But that is pretty much it, I think, that I wanna talk about um, in this. Uh, I'm gonna do something about lead generation cards and Twitter cards and stuff um, in a separate video because I kinda wanna go through it in a bit more detail. But if you have set up a card for your Twitter ad, then if you go into creatives and card, it'll be um, in websites, so that's where your Twitter ad will be. And that's pretty much it for Twitter ads. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel as well for lots and lots and lots and lots more tutorials um, like this one and also just general content marketing and digital marketing blogging type help as well. So that is it. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Bye.